Hey, welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Good to have you back on this Thursday evening. Yes, try and get through this. It's been a busy night. Try and, try and get some smoke in and it's just not happening. Anyways, uh, got a bit done. Obviously had yesterday off. All good, that was good. I needed a bit of rest. We got those two videos out. Uh, the 50 mil Super Takama show off and in there I chucked in that time, beautiful time lapse of Perth City, the sunrise, the morning of my, when I did the review, and the monster 804 megapixel panorama I did of Perth City. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, pretty wrapped with that photo come up. Just, yeah, just awesome. You can zoom, obviously on YouTube, it doesn't sort of get, do it as justice, but uh, the actual photo, I can pretty much zoom right into the windows and see seats and chairs and it's amazing. Uh, what you can do with these cameras nowadays, uh, very, very cool and it's come up cool with that nice golden glow across it. So that video's going really well. I'm glad you're enjoying that uh, for your subscribers and we've had a heap in the last month. Uh, really, really cool. Thanks for being part of the family and I do really, really appreciate it. And if you aren't a subscriber, why not smash that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell, and when you hit the bell, you'll get the daily, another day, another vlog video messages. It'll, on the app, it'll tell you when it's uh, coming up. And also, if I release any new videos, you'll get them as well. So it's a pretty easy system, and it's free, which is even better. Even better. Um, so yeah, obviously I had the day off, so I went for a bit of a walk. Uh, and yeah, really cool. Went for a walk on my day off. Nice, some nice areas I hadn't been to. I went through a bit of a fire zone and very, very cool. Uh, I'd been there about, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. Got some old burnt trees, some, really got some nice photos of that. Followed that up, up and around. Got some spectacular spots and found some amazing spots. Uh, one of which was a canyon uh, that is not very far from us at all and it looked really really cool went in got some photos of that and then I thought geez I wonder if, what this if it'd like be like waterfalls and stuff in here if it rained and it poured last night like 47 mils or something we got last night they shut down most of the mine um, and so I shut out this morning after work quickly went down to this canyon where I could because it's only really close and it was awesome. Water flowing through it, just a totally different world from the day before, um, and got some awesome shots. Absolutely wrapped with what I got out of there today. Uh, very, very stoked. So that walk and all that was ended up being a bit bigger than what I thought, and I'm gonna turn that into a video so you can see it all and see all the shots. So very, very cool. I'll get that, I'll whack that on the list with the other stuff. The Southwest video is coming up next. I'm starting on that in the morning. I've started doing the editing on the photos. I've narrowed it down. I've got to just narrowed it down to a, just a few photos. Um, I've got a heap of good ones. I just need to try and pick the, the final ones that I want to do and then finalize the edits on them and then I'll start in the video. So hopefully, oh, well, this week I should have that out. So it'll be another one. That's a monster. That's a, a 16 hour day, 800 Ks, all through the southwest of WA, some amazing country, um, and yeah, it should be pretty good. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be the next big one out. And I got obviously got a heap more stuff I need to get out to you. So just getting the time, you know, 12 and a half hours of work, and then trying to get another three or four hours in to sort of tend to catch up on you. But any, anyway, all good. Let's get into some news. Uh, Shimano uh, just released the Stella SW 2020 and what a reel. There's a video up on YouTube. You can watch it through the Shimano channel. Uh, they're catching bluefin tuna on these things on big 30,000s. Uh, the range goes from a 4,000 little, little lightweight ones up to a 30,000. They range from 850 to 1200 US dollars. So the big dollars, but they are the best of the best for spinning reels, not overheads. The Calcutta's still my number one for that. Uh, but yeah, amazing what they've done. They're already the best and they've just improved it somehow. Obviously you got Hagney, which we all know is Shimano's sort of salt water resistant protection system. Uh, they've improved winding by 26%, which is just insane. Um, silent drive. Uh, they've also increased torque, 
handle torque by 26%. So that's a massive increase. I don't know where they find all this improvements, but they somehow Shimano keeps getting it done. Uh, they reduced the spool size and they've got X Protect and X Shield in there as well. So they're just in, increasing all that salt water protection to make sure this thing lasts forever, which they obviously do because the Stella's just, just renowned for being the best of the best. Uh, amazing seeing them pull up these bluefin tuna. Like normally they have those big monstrous overhead reels with the big thick solid like game rods and they're pulling those big monsters in. Um, and they've got these big spinning rods and they're just, just the rods are just going. Um, <clears throat> yeah, very, very cool. Uh, and yeah, obviously it should be out in the next or well, short period they're saying. So yeah. If you're a stellar man and you're doing some offshore, very, very cool. There's gonna be a lot of people buying these and be saving up their bickies to get to it. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it'll be well worthwhile and you'll definitely last you until they make out the next one. Uh, Apple's talking about becoming a closed looped manufacturer. Uh, they're not doing it by getting rid of and doing their own mining or whatever, but they're basically enhancing their recycling program. They've got a robot which at the moment pulls about 200 phones apart and dissects it and pulls and reuse like a lot of the parts. Uh, they want to increase that and it's called Daisy. And they want to increase that and ramp it up so it's a full blown manufacturing process where they're just stripping old stuff and then just reusing parts and, and materials and gold and minerals and stuff like that that they have to use to take the pressure off mining. So mining's obviously not taking too much out of the ground as well and obviously just to reuse stuff. So it's it's a good thing. Um, the only problem I see with it, if you've ever looked at trying to trade in your phone to upgrade it, you get jack squat out of it. Actually, you can get more out of the gold in your old phones than you would by sometimes trying to sell it. So, and that's where I think they're gonna hit the problems because I don't think people are gonna, generally people don't go there if you're only gonna get 50 bucks for it, which is generally what they do half the time. If you've had your phone for four years, two to four years, you get nothing for them. Um, so people try either sell them on eBay, which you get, probably get more chance to get a little bit of decent money for it, or you just keep it and then it ends up in the bin once it's useless, because after about five, six years, the software won't update anyway, so they just get thrown in the bin. So I think it's up to Apple to work out how they're gonna do it. I think they need to, if they're really keen on this recycling, they need to make the value of a exchange phone or when you upgrade to if you give them an old phone in good order to actually get some actual value out of it not just rip people off um, you know if, if you've only had a phone for two years and you only and you're going to get 10% or 20% of the value of the phone like everyone's just gonna go yeah whatever it's just that's just not enough you should get more than that you're paying two grand for, or 1500 to two grand for a phone and, you know, and they're gonna give you 200 bucks or 400 bucks. Like, that's just not good enough. Need to try and maybe get it close to that 50% mark. Uh, the best example I've seen is in Germany with their recycling, their recycling is awesome. Uh, you get a can and it costs you like, I think it was last time I was there, it was a fair while ago. Um, so the price might not be accurate. I think it was like 50 cents a can of beer and you get, I think um, like 10 euro cents back for each can. So you're getting like 20% back for just a can of aluminium. And this thing's got gold and everything in it. So very, very cool um, and good to see them doing it. Also on Apple, the coders found some lines of code about option of Apple Pro system. So that might be like an overclocking. So if you're doing like editing, you're going to do your render, this might be allowed to ramp, overclock your processes and everything and just cut everything else out. So it just goes full noise and gives you that burst. Obviously, it'll be for a short term period, so it doesn't damage your batteries and stuff. Uh, and they're talking about it's only gonna be in the, like the new 16 inch Pros that have got the new cooling system in it that can handle it. And so that obviously the damage and they don't get warranty claims and stuff like that. So very, very cool. Um, and it's probably not a bad thing uh, nowadays, but I mean, it all depends. Maybe they just need to make them more powerful so they don't have to worry about uh, overclocking it just to get stuff done. If you have got to constantly do that, well then maybe you need to, I think we need a bigger computer or that. And this 16 inch Pro looks like it can handle a fair bit. 
So I think it's just getting the right model to suit your needs, possibly. So yeah, but over for gamers, I know they have it on the game inside PC market, so it'd be interesting to see how it goes from there. Uh, Android is coming out with AirDrop. Uh, if you use Android guys, that'll be good for use. Obviously it works really well on Apple, I use it all the time. It's super, super handy, don't have to get cords and all go through all that crap, especially now with the stupid ISO 13 update where iTunes is disembobulated into three different programs and I still can't get friggin' photos on my phone. Um, so yeah, it's still, still a joke, that ISO 13. So it's good to have AirDrop so I can constantly get f photos on and off my phone. Android's, it's gonna be called nearby sharing for Android. Now the big difference is it's gonna be, you'll have to be within one foot of your phone to share or your device to share. So I think that's more of a security measure they talked about um, where Apple's a bit thing. They're saying that that gives you possibilities for people can attack you and maybe use AirDrop to get into your system. Well, they're talking about reducing that so only one foot uh, away to stop that sort of thing. And then last but not least, uh, the OnePlus 8 uh, has announced the boss of OnePlus has come out and said, well, now Samsung said the new S20 is going to have 120 hertz display. Well, we're, I guarantee you our next phone is going to be 120 hertz. So straight away they've come out on the rumours on this 20 of the S20. They've already announced that, well, if they can do it, we can do it. So 120 hertz is now going to be the new norm on phones. For consumers, it's good for us and I guess you get a super fast responsive display. I don't, I don't really have a problem on my Apple. Um, it's generally pretty good. I'm never really in that much of a rush, but I do understand it and sometimes it does have a bit of a lag, uh, whether that's network or the actual system, who knows. But um, yeah, very, very cool and great to see manufacturers really fighting to get that dollar off their customers and keep their customers happy. So very, very cool. Well, that's it. Another day, another vlog. Um, gonna, get, as I said before, get right into my editing for this next video in the morning. So I've got a, got a base there. I just need to start getting it in and start punching it out. Uh, I've had a couple of days of doing other things, so now I can get back on track. Uh, th again, thanks to all you guys watching. Uh, glad you're enjoying the uh, Super Takama playoff or the showdown. I uh, hope you're that. There's plenty of other videos there to watch. Shoot over to the channel if you get bored and check them out. And we'll see you all tomorrow for another day, another vlog. So wherever you're coming, or going, we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.